Last week I was in Nashville for a few days, and one of the nights we went out to go see Mike Seal play with his trio at Dee's Lounge, and it was unbelievable. In a town like Nashville, which is slammed with amazing musicians, Mike Seal stands out as literally one of the best players, not just in town, but I think alive today. And if you're not from Nashville, you might not know the name Mike Seal. He's kind of, in my opinion, Nashville's unsung guitar hero. So this clip is something I recorded on my phone from their set at Dee's Lounge. It's Mike Seal on guitar, Jeff Saunders on bass, and Mark Radabaugh on drums. And a quick plug, if you're gonna be around Nashville on December 13th, they're playing again at Dee's Lounge up in Madison. I'll have uh, information linked down below. There you can also find Mike's Instagram page and his website. You should absolutely go follow him because as you'll see, he's incredible. This, I think, really exemplifies his sort of Nashville roots. That's very, very chicken picking fast, you know, Roy Clark, Chad Atkins, Brent Mason kind of style. But he's not doing the sort of traditional chicken picking thing with his right hand, where he's he's hybrid picking with a pick. And as you'll see, everything he does is finger style. He doesn't really use a pick as far as I know, ever. And that's part of his sound. The way he approaches playing lines, lead lines and chords, I think is pretty unique because he's not thinking like a traditional guitar player with a pick in his hand. It's all finger style. I mean, case in point, like check this out, this repetitive lick that he's doing. <laughs> You can see his right hand there. He's doing a combination of like a rake with his first two fingers and, and this bouncing thumb thing. That is insanely difficult to do at that speed and in time and as cleanly as he's doing it. It's crazy. <laughs> combining like some shred technique, like sweet picking and uh, like these repetitive lines. But instead of doing, you know, alternate picking or economy picking or anything like that, it's all just with the fingers, which I think is part of where he's getting his speed from. So it's crazy. Okay, so that's uh, Mike playing at Carter Vintage Guitars in Nashville. And Carter, thankfully, has done a ton of videos featuring Mike playing their different instruments, and all of them are equally as impressive as that. Here he's playing a Yumando Costa song. And I picked this because the more you listen to Mike Seal, the more you can tell he's got such a broad range of influence. Like obviously he does the Nashville chicken picking shred country sort of thing, but there's a lot of Brazilian influence in his playing. And again, like his right hand, I think is really what's setting him apart here. Like the way he's able to get through these runs, these super fast lines where he's outlining the chord changes and and, and playing these arpeggios and these these melodies, he's able to just articulate this in a way that's only possible by playing without a pick. And it's almost frustrating to watch how effortless this seems to be for him. Just watch his right hand through this, this run. <laughs> It 
could imagine trying to play that line like that with a pick. I won't say you couldn't do it, but it wouldn't sound like that and it wouldn't feel that fluid and that bouncy. <laughs> The other thing I'm so impressed by is his dynamic control. Like, if you listen to his thumb on the bass, nothing's overpowering. Everything is evenly balanced, which is incredibly difficult to do when you're playing fingerstyle like this. It's it's hard not just to play in time with good time feel, but to play evenly, to have an even distribution of like dynamics across your thumb playing the bass and your your fingers playing the the chord tones or the melody. Everything it, it sounds almost like he's playing a, a piano in some way. It's almost like he's got a built-in compressor in his right hand. It's It feels naturally compressed. And sure, some of that is coming from the amplifier, uh, and, and they might be doing some compression in post, but that's not what I mean. I don't mean it sounds like compressed. I mean that there's a natural evenness in his playing coming from his right hand. He's got so much control in that picking hand that it sounds naturally compressed. It's like got a built-in LA-2A in his right hand. It's beautiful. And then Chris behind the camera just pointed out something that I hadn't picked up on, which is his thumb muting, which is something that, you know, if you play a lot of slide guitar, you're familiar with, but he's doing an incredible job of it here. If you listen to this descending line here and you watch his thumb, that control is there. So you're only hearing the strings that he wants you to hear. There's no strings ringing out. There's no like muted or missed notes. Everything is just even and clean and pure. It's so pristine, it's so dialed in, let alone he's playing both Dwayne and Dickie's guitar parts simultaneously, but it doesn't sound sterile at all. There's still character and there's still vibe here. And I think the feel here, the rhythmic feel, you can kind of sense has that kind of Brazilian thing happening. Like there's a bounce to it. There's a there's a, almost a swing to it that is so well played. <laughs> so clean. It doesn't have to be the most technically impressive thing to showcase a player like Mike's musicianship. To me, Mike exemplifies my favorite parts of a great guitar player. Someone who has great skill, great technical ability, but he still has this musical element in everything that he does. Like, yeah, the guy can shred. The guy can absolutely play his ass off. But everything he does is listenable. It's musical. It's something that even if you're not a guitar nerd, you can sit down and enjoy this, which is not the case for a lot of really technically proficient virtuosic guitar players. He's developed these skills in order to have a voice on the guitar. And his voice is so impressive. It's beautiful. And it's uniquely him. There is only one Mike Seal. And I think he's one of the best guitar players in the world, not just Nashville, but he is certainly, I think, Nashville's most unsung guitar hero, in my opinion. So 
please go check out Mike. I'll have his Instagram and everything linked down below. Like I said, if you're around the Nashville area, December 13th, uh, his trio is playing again at Dee's Lounge. Dee's is a really cool spot up in Madison, just north of East Nashville. He's done tons of stuff. He's Grammy nominated. He's played with some amazing rhythm sections, some amazing groups. Um, yeah, he deserves a follow. So Go check out Mike. And also thanks to Carter Vintage for uh, featuring him so much. There are so many great recordings of Mike playing just unaccompanied like this. I'll have some links to my favorite ones down in the description box below. And uh, yeah, my name is Rhett Shull. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the next one.